first of all, and you're uh, actually here live. We are here live, live. Uh, as, to point a, as opposed out. to some other networks that just have a big <laughs> LED. Who shall remain nameless? Hey guys, my name is Devorah Darkens. Welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, we're going to be responding to this backlash that Joy Reid is getting because she is trying to basically label again black men and their support for Trump. And I tell you guys this all the time, you know what is really tearing down our society, our culture, are these labels that they pull from out of nowhere and they place them on people. So they're putting people in different boxes based on what they believe to be true. And um, I, I just have to react to this because I want you guys to see this type of craziness and the virus that is going on in people's mindset as it pertains to what's happening in our country, especially when it comes to the election. And by the way, this is coming from a network that wasn't even at the RNC. I mean, that's how big of, of cowards they really are, is they have so much to say about an event and they weren't, they weren't even there. All the other major networks and independent people were there, but not them. This is how much deranged and unhinged and, and just emotionally triggered they are by this event. So you guys already know what to do like share and subscribe let's play that video you know it's interesting because we were talking about this during the break i mean this is the javier malay election right i mean mm -hmm. and then in argentina that's how that went which is that you had this coalition of you know and, you know and not to be cruel but the, you know it was described as sort of an incel election it was the right. young angry men of argentina who like they wanted a macho candidate and it went along with policies like banning abortion banning birth control and you know the idea of no fault divorce. I mean, it all yeah, let's pause really quick. Just make sure you guys understand the context. So they they are reacting to this idea that the RNC was uh, really masculine in how they put the event together, which I don't know where they're getting that from, to be honest with you. Go watch it yourself. Um, there was plenty of people from all walks of life, both genders. I, I don't know where they get that from. And this is what I'm saying. These people on the news, this is why you got to be careful. Even people in your own life, they, they get ideas from, I don't, not, not from logic to my understanding. They're, they're getting them from their skewed perception of what's reality and then what's made up in their mind. And so she's trying to connect what's happening in, in America to what happened in another country. And it's just not true. Uh, let, let's, let's keep going here. It goes together. But you've seen this kind of election before. You see the same thing in Hungary. Like the Orbanism of the party is uh, it's rooted in returning white Christian men, but also white men and white adjacent men, you know, right. black men, brown right. men who are like white adjacent in terms of trying. Well, what? OK. White adjacent. Can you go look that up in the dictionary, please? Tell me what that means. I'm telling you that these labels that they place on. Uh, especially black people, it's I find it, to, and it's the black people doing it. It's the black people p placing labels on black people. I find that to be very funny. Let's rewind that and hear that craziness one more time. Christian men, but also white men, ad white adjacent men, you know, right. black men, brown right. men who are like white adjacent in terms of trying to also be in that dominant position in, the in society. And then you have women who are willing to go along with that, right? There are a certain number of women who are oh, also sure. willing, the yeah. trad wife sort of thing. And so what you... Oh, so trad wives are a bad thing too, right? I mean, because that's a toxic thing going on r right now is, you know, if... If a woman wants to be a traditional wife, she doesn't want to work and she wants her husband to pay for everything, that is a bad thing. I mean, it's it's almost like everything is like reversed, right? Where what used to be bad is now good and what used to be good is now bad, right? And so being single and having kids as a single mother is a good thing and that's a badge of honor and you should be proud of that. And if you get married and you have kids and you don't work or even if you work from home, you're somewhat of a trad wife. That is a bad thing. That That's where she's going with this. That's number, number one. And then number two, again, okay, so if I am black or I am Hispanic and I support Trump, that means I want to be like white people. Is that what that means? Again, it's another professional way of calling calling ourselves whitewashed, right? I, I remember when I heard that, it, it, it made me think, wow, the ignorance of people. Right. The, the, the people who complain about racism, uh, people being prejudiced against them, people judging them, people discriminating against them. 
those are the same people calling black people whitewashed. You see, it's the virus of the mind. When everything is about race, we forget that we are God's children. We're American citizens before the color of our skin. And so we go down this road of being toxic towards each other because it's all about the color of your skin. You know, and it's this idea that if you're black and you support Donald Trump, then you must be selling out to the white man and you're a coon or an Uncle Tom. And they come up with these labels that when you don't go along with their way of thinking, then you must be X, Y, or Z. And, he, and here's the crazy part about it. On the conservative side, if someone doesn't want to support Donald Trump, that's fine. If you're black and you want to support Joe Biden, go right on ahead. I don't have a label for you. Now, what I will say is just look at the results. What have the Democrats done for you in the last 60 years? What have they actually done for black people? Show me the receipts. Show me the receipts where Joe Biden, what he promised that he would do, that he did that for you. Right. And so I don't have any labels for you. I just want to talk about facts. But people like this on MSNBC, right, this deranged Joy Reid, she doesn't want to talk about facts. She wants to talk about feelings. She wants to express how she feels. That's why it's dangerous listening to people like that. Well, let's go ahead and finish this up seen on the stage. But what's interesting, though, is that J.D. Vance, who promotes this kind of thing, he says there shouldn't be no fault divorce. He says women in violent situations should stay. He didn't say that in his speech yesterday. No, he there didn't. was no talk of abortion. No. There was no culture war stuff regarding men and yeah. women because they know it's deeply unpopular. Well, there you go. Here he is. Donald Trump taking the stage. Yeah. yeah uh, maybe they're just trying to unite the uh, country. But, um, you know, Guys, do you think this is bad? Let's continue. Is that everybody is terrified of a, of a Trump presidency. Mm. And everybody wants to do everything and anything possible to prevent that from happening. And including I assassination, think that regardless right? of your position on that, I think an overwhelming amount of people are motivated by that. Right, just like that shooter. You see, it's the same people that say, oh, yeah, we should cool it down. Don't incite violence. But then they come out and they say, we got to do whatever we can to stop him. Uh, you just can't have it both ways. We, you, you just can't. This is how deranged they are. Let's continue. Donald Trump is also very old and a racist and a neo-Nazi. But anyways, I'm not even going to talk about Trump right now. Donald Trump is also mm. very old and a racist and a neo-Nazi. Got it. Got it. So, you know, listen, I don't listen to this lady AOC. I mean, she's as progressive as they get. Um, and her, her comments, again, they're just, you, do you see what's going on, right? The same people that are crying that, hey, Trump and his supporters, they incite violence. They are aggressive. Uh, you know, they are trying to destroy this country. But then you guys are saying what you're saying, right? I mean, Joy Reid and AOC, they're, they're just not good people. As far as in their profession and what they're saying, maybe... Behind closed doors, they're a different person. I like to think that, but probably not. So, I mean, what, what do you guys think about this craziness? I mean, are you a black person who's watching this right now? Would you consider yourself white adjacent? <laughs> do you, If you're supporting Trump, does that make you a neo-Nazi? Are you racist because you are supporting him? Right. According to these women, that, that's what that means. Or maybe you're a woman and you work from home or your your husband, you know, pays for the bills or whatever. Or is it bad that you're a trad wife? I mean, this is what's happening. This is the virus of the mindset in America is you have one side that labels everything and they're saying this label is good and this label is bad. And, 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 and they're putting you guys into boxes. And what is that causing? It's causing people to be divided instead of being one and being together, right? And that's why you're always gonna hear me on these videos. I don't care if you're 
on the left, you're on the right, you're independent. I don't care if you don't even like politics. I don't care about any of that. You are God's child in my eyes, right? You're made in the image of him. You're just as good as me. We're no better than each other. I ain't care less. I just want you to win. I want you to win in your life in multiple ways and be happy and serve your purpose and do God's work. That's all I care about. But these people, no, no, no. They care about votes. They care about clicks. They care, they care about views. You know, they care about their feelings, right? And they just want to continue to create division um, because that's what they get off on. And so that's my mindset about this and I want to hear from you. What do you guys think about all this? What do you think about these takes uh, and more? Leave it in the comments section below. You guys already know. Uh, I appreciate you for watching this video today. And I will see you in the next one.